everyone welcome I hope that you're doing really well today today I thought we would do a get ready with me and just chit chat try some new products that I have picked up recently and we'll just get ready for the day so if you are interested in hanging out with me and getting ready then please keep watching there are just a few days that I have actually taken advantage of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I believe today is either the last day or there's one more day. Today's Saturday, so it's the last day, I'm sure. I did pick up the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment. This is her makeup primer. This is the hydrating one. I've been wanting to try it, but I thought we'd try it together. I don't smell anything. Mm. it feels nice I think this was half off I think it was around $16 I also got the spray the speckle mist restore with coconut water prime set refresh so we're going to set with that also we're going to use the Catrice HD mainly because I am using a new primer and and I don't like to use a new primer and a new foundation and I have enjoyed using this real technique. I forget which one this is. This is, it just says expert face brush, but I have really been liking the way that it works with this Catrice. Finally made it to see Corey yesterday. I love seeing him. I just, I just love it. Hanging out with him. He's such a sweetheart. My mom had decided a couple weeks ago that she wanted a pixie. So um, I said, that's fine, but Corey is the one you're going to go to if you're going to get your hair cut that short and she's like I was hoping you'd make me an appointment it looks so cute on her it really does I am going to take my beauty blender and just pick up any extra that could just be sitting on top of the skin I know that I am really behind with so many things and I'm I'm really sorry I'm going to try to get caught up as soon as I can I have some packages I need to send out and to be honest gosh I've owed Lulu a package for a long time but um, I have a couple other packages to go out and honestly I just I was sick almost the whole month of March and I was afraid to touch anything especially like to um, to our Loretta or anybody you know I don't want anybody to get sick from me but I'm done with the antibiotics. I feel like a different person. It's pretty amazing. We are going to do a ridiculously easy eye look with the Viseart Cool Matte and Sultry Muse palettes. It's super. Like, my eye looks have been less than impressive. You can tell I have such a little dent in this guy. It's kind of crazy. And I'm going directly into this guy. I did try to film a couple times and it was just, it was pathetic. And just a little bit of the touch of that, a little bit of this touch of that back. I just went to deepen this corner a little bit let's see what has been going on my daughter had her third post-op MRI in Cleveland and we're clear it was good news um, I know some of you know that but I did want to share that with all of you so that was amazing tomorrow is my granddaughter's birthday party I can't believe she's six I just I just can't believe it need to get her gifts wrapped and then her pap jack got her one special thing i'm telling you those two are as thick as thieves loves him she just gives it right back to him i'm going to use my makeup revolution baking oil i really do enjoy this oil i mean i know a lot of people can use any kind of oil and i've used oil under my eyes before also but I don't know there's just something about this oil it really makes my concealer look better I'm going to use I'm going to use my Olay girl 
pale pink color corrector and brightener. I guess it's really more of a brightener than a color corrector. I'm using the Tarte Creaseless. Using my Sephora brush and a little bit of Cody Airspun, I'm just going to set my foundation. The video that just went up this morning, I used my Je ne sais quoi palette. I'm going to use my e.l.f. palette this time, even though it's a little more, uh, a little more rosy, but you know what? We're just gonna make it work. I'm gonna wipe off the same brush and go in with one of the blushes. I'm gonna use this really pretty highlight. Under eyes, my under eyes are a little light. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist in Restore with coconut water. I'm excited to try this. Let's see. Ooh, did you see that? Oh my goodness. This is Milani's All Natural Lip Liner. I'm going to use Maybelline 540 in Peach Buff. Then I'm going to put e.l.f. Lip Gloss in Rose right over top of that. Jack? Yeah. Don't sneak up on her. She's sound asleep. She might come up after you. She was snoring. <laughs> I was like, if you're going to sneak around there, you might not like what happens. Who's picking that? She was snoring. What do you want to eat, honey? Did you work until you're sick? Give me just a minute, honey. I'll get you something. Give me put some chicken strips in the thing for you. Throw in the do door of the freezer. Okay. You could have that and potato salad, and I could make you macaroni with your steak. That would be wonderful. So some time has gone by, but Jack is fed. Do not fear. Lunch, and I came back. I tried to do something with my hair. And it just did not work. So, nevertheless, I've had my makeup on for quite a while now. So I've had my makeup on for right around the three and a half hour mark. And before we go, I will say that so far, so good. It is a warmer day here. I'm just, my immune system is still way down. So I get chilled a little easy. That's why I'm still wearing a long sleeve sweater. Nice, it's a really nice day outside, it really is. So um, the makeup was wearing nicely. Well, my skin does look hydrated and it feels hydrated. I'm looking forward to using this primer consistently and seeing what I really think about it. But after I've used it consistently for a while. And this was super nice. I love the smell, I love the mist, I love the way it felt. And it just, it married all my powders together so nicely. So I think that's it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.